Hi and welcome back to a quick tips tutorial about Logic Pro X and uh, about we're going to be talking about groups and also talking about using groups with Nucleus at the same time um, but this is this is useful for if you're only using Logic as well so uh, before I jump in don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell very important if you want to get more videos from me first of all you need to select all the tracks you want to put into a group so as you can see here i've selected on the mixer desk and then i've done the same here you don't really need to do that in the arrange window as long as it's done in the mixer desk and then you need to go to groups here and activate them okay and then in this window here you select the group you want for the whole group so then that's all selected as group number one so here you can see already it's moving as a group on the nucleus as well as on logic in logic you can actually you can just select them and they'll all move together as well uh, which is practical but if you're using a controller this is you know and you want to move loads of tracks together that won't actually work you need to create the group once you've created the group here you can then just give it a name say let's call this whirly and hit enter so on the actual nucleus itself uh, you can change the group by, if we look at the premises here that we've looked in the last video, uh, you've got the volume, and then if you go through them, you've got different perimeters, like uh, the T groups, that's what we're going to look at in a minute, auto mode as well, channel in, channel out, it's pretty basic. Uh, these have, You've only got these on, on the uh, audio files here, which is channel in, and then channel format, which if you can see here, will give you mono or stereo, surround we don't want. So that's in mono, uh, and then the next one there is channel in. So here we can just adjust the channel. Then, so we want input number five six. Just hit that seven eight. Sorry, five six. Hit that. That will then change to five six. That doesn't apply to the um, the, the 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 MIDI tracks. So that's why it's not coming up here. Then. We go to channel out, of course, that's the same thing. Just select the channel you want to go out here and then hit enter. Then you can see I've changed here to bus six, this one here. So then change that back to say, go back to stereo output. So here you can change the group individually like this. And uh, you don't need to click enter. It'll just stay there. So you just select so that's that's what the t group thing is it doesn't actually show up the group what it is you can see it on the screen though so that's that and then you can move this up and down as a group uh, and you can you can pan and do stuff like that so if i want to go into automation i go back to automation here you can see i select this and all the different choices of uh, automation come up across the whole group. So, like, so I want to go latch. Just leave it on latch. Don't need to do anything else. Then hit record like this. Let's stop that and then go back to the the general group and go back to read. So you've got the whole thing there and then just hit play again and you can see this moving now see here all these are moving That's pretty precise motorized faders so that's an easy way to automate faders and volumes and stuff like that and if we go to uh, the pan here so what you need to do is hit pan solo uh, let's do you can select all the things that you want actually here, like the sends, stuff like that. And uh, so if I just now change the pan here, they all move at the same time in the group. This will still say as a group, even if it's not grouped on logic itself. And so we saw how to do the pan. Now uh, to do sends, you just hit the send like that, hit that twice, and then you'll see the sends come up. And now you've got the way it can be either muted here on the channel itself or the position of it, like a post or a pre, can be set here. This has gone blue and not green because I've changed the uh, the send position. That changes the way, whether it's before or after the fader, so that's quite important. This is all linked, so you can automate the sends in groups on your... You can do that in Logic quite easy, you know, just by selecting the whole thing. But if you're on a controller, that's a different situation. So with the Nucleus, you can 
Now, just to select that, you can do the pans, you can do the volumes, you can do these, and you can do uh, individual uh, plugins as well. I don't think you, you can't group the plugins together, I don't think. So yeah, so you, you can do those those functions quite easily. So, um, so if I just demonstrate that again, just by hitting uh, track, then go in to auto mode, auto mode, go to, we go to latch, then go to send, twice, and send one, can now move that all together. So if I just hit play again, So, so see that that's working, no problem. Back to read. See, that's all moving. So there, you have it, the automation and uh, how to use the, the groups in uh, with Nucleus and Logic. I hope this video was useful. If it was, like, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Ciao.